Hi guys, welcome back to London. Today I'm off to buy a new hat. I actually got a new hat for this winter at the end of November at Winter Wonderland. I vlogged in fact because I vlogged my entire trip to Winter Wonderland but I've mislaid it. I've searched high and low, I can't find it anywhere. I even resorted to, um, to hunting down the back of the sofas but I don't think I've lost it. I'm pretty sure it's in one of our buildings somewhere but I can't find it anywhere so I'm resorting to buying a replacement. It's frustrating as well because I purchased it at the end of November, the last one, the woolen bobble hat and the whole of December was unseasonably warm. Record breaking in fact, it was warm and one of the wettest on record. I, I barely needed it but winter's definitely here now, it's freezing cold. I've got my scarf, I just need a hat to keep my head warm. So I'm pretty confident I'm going to find the bobble one again living in hope. So I'm going to get a slightly different style one from a store here on London's Piccadilly, a gentleman's outfitters and a lady's outfitters. I'm going to get a slightly different style. Now this store may have featured in other vlogs, I can't remember if it has or it hasn't. I certainly have worn their shirts in other vlogs and it's Cordings was originally established here in London in 1839. Their first store was just down the road from here on the Strand and in 1877 they first moved here to number 19 Piccadilly. They've also had a number of other stores nearby over the years. London has definitely developed around it and the building has been adapted at various times in a number of ways with those ongoing developments. But one way or another they're still here. They've obviously enjoyed the good times and survived the many bad. The store looks beautiful. It clearly has quite an antiquated image. We're just one street away from Regent Street but it's like a different world in here compared to the stores and the shoppers of Regent Street and Oxford Street. They don't do ephemeral fashions and trends however they have a reputation for quality and a style which is timeless. At heart, they're a country outfitters, primarily supplying quintessentially British country attire from here in the city. Tweed jackets and suits, their renowned cover coats, max, and a whole range of accessories. I have a number of their shirts, which for me are great for work. I move around a lot when I'm making things, and because they're designed with shooting in mind, they have quite a lot of room in them for movement. Many other shirt makers don't have that as a consideration, so they can be quite restricted if you're not just sitting at a desk or a dinner table. I think I'm going to go for what they call an urban Piccadilly tweed cap in grey, made in Britain using Scottish tweed cloth and fully lined. This is really busy for the store. I've never seen this many people in here before. Normally there are more staff than customers. Today it's the other way around and they appear to be completely overwhelmed. There's still the January sales on which may explain it and there's £10 off all the hats which is great. I'll get a small discount. I don't know how to describe your... There is no average customer in this shop. There, Some of them can be quite eccentric and some of them are I wouldn't say they're throwing hissy fits, but they're not coping well with the lack of attention they're getting. I guess they're normally afforded far more attention in here. And that's not happening today. It's great for me because I'm getting left to my own devices to try on all these hats and film myself being an idiot. Okay, this is definitely the one. I've just been trying on the different sizes. I have a rough idea of what size head, what size hat I take, but different manufacturers have different ideas of fit so I just wanted to come here and make sure I tried a few different sizes on and get the best fit, the most comfortable one and one that won't blow off in the wind. very tempted to take a pair of these red socks with the yellow heel and toe but I think I'll leave them for today I'm just gonna take the cap for now maybe next time
to yeah. some of the kind of yeah. the way yeah. that's it. Yeah. 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 Very sad. Is it? Very sad. Oh, that's good. That's and the mentality, right? <laughs> is it in a little bit of a getting there? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're gradually taking. Yeah. So you can eat every day. Every day, yeah. Oh, how long do you can eat? One hour, 55 minutes. There you go, sir. I'll give you a nice. Cordings do have a website, so you can take a look online and see what they do and what they're about. They supply quite a number of quite a number of their products are British made, not all of them, a lot, but a lot of them are British made using British materials. I would say the store's definitely worth a visit, especially if you're looking for some clothing that's I guess in style, quintessentially British, very well made, everything they do, they're renowned, for, as I said earlier, they're renowned for their high quality and definitely if you're heading to, if you're heading out of the city to the country, they'll definitely have something for you. Okay, success, got myself a new hat and luckily just in time, it's starting to rain. watching this little video guys if you liked it please hit the thumbs up like button and if you'd like to be the first to see my new films the subscribe button toodles